activating the glory. We've been talking about the glory, and I think we are almost done. Maybe one more next week and we'll be done. But glory is originally celestial. Remember, we've done this. In case you are new, yes, sir. You don't say this man is too fast, please. I have to be fast because I've taught this for six weeks. So you go back and listen again and get, get materials for the old teachings. Glory, now I'm going into something deep. You have to pay attention. Check your neighbor. Help them ensure they are awake. Pay attention. Now I'm going into something deep. Can we proceed? Yes, sir. Glory is originally celestial. As it comes from what? A celestial God into a terrestrial plane. Mm. When we say celestial, we mean the heavenly realm. When we say terrestrial, we mean the earthly realm. Yes, sir. Glory comes from the realm of the spirit into your life. Mm. Therefore, terrestrial glory is repatriable. Mm. My God. What do I mean repatriable? Oh, that means terrestrial glory can be taken back to heaven when yes, you sir. die. Yes, sir. This is too important. Next week, I'm going to be talking about repatriable glory. That was when that was the end of the series. Aye. Listen now. You have not listened before. Listen now. Terrestrial glory is repatriable. Any glory you have on earth that, that does not, cannot go to heaven is useless. Aye. My God. The essence of multiplying terrestrial glory is because at the end of time, when I take it to heaven, I can use it in heaven. Yes, sir. Why buy something in Nigeria that you cannot carry to America when you know you live in America? Ah. Hey. Why travel to America with Naira when it cannot do anything for you there? Terrestrial glory, which is all the gold and the riches and the blessings of this world that cannot be translated into the spirit realm when you die is useless. That's why I'm going to teach you something. Let's go. Look at it. Therefore, terrestrial glory is repatriable. Yes, sir. I.e., it can be taken back to the celestial realm after your life on earth. But let me show you Psalm 45, verse 13, so that you can see the difference. Yes. The king's daughter is glorious within. within. Come on, say within. 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 Her clothing is made of gold without. Mm. Glorious within is celestial. Hey. The hidden man of the heart. Then it says, uh, outward clothes is made of what? what? Gold. 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 So when you are blessed on earth, when you prosper on earth, those are terrestrial glory. But it comes from what? The glory within, which is what? A celestial glory. Yes, sir. Ah. Every glory is first celestial. Move for me. But look at this. Move, look at this. Non-repatriable glory. There are glories that will end on this earth. Blessings that will end on this earth. Number one is called artificial glory. It's a terrestrial glory gotten from the terrestrial realm that never originated from the celestial realm. It's a non-repatriable or acceptable in the... It is, it is, it is the I said, this is non-repatriable or acceptable in the celestial realm. Being that it, it has no light in it. When you prosper and you have wealth in this world and you got it from wickedness, it ends here. When you die, you'll be a pauper. Yes, sir. Your glory is not repatriable. That means you got blessed, you have houses, you became rich by Satan's means, by your own power. When you die, you stand before God and there'll be nothing. Nothing can be brought to God that never came from God. Yes, sir. So if you, if you are rich, you say, uh, they say I should bring my mother and they will make, they will give me, they will make me rich. That's what? Artificial glory. Artificial. So two people can drive Lamborghini. One is what? Artificial glory. Ah, One is what? Original glory. Do not seek the wealth of this world. It's the same thing. It looks the same. But just like diamonds. The real diamonds and the fake diamonds look the same until mm. we check inside. Yes, sir. If there is no glory light within you, your prosperity is a waste. Yes, sir. That's what's called artificial glory. It has no light. It never came from God's blessing in your life. Remember what the Bible says, the blessings of the Lord eat, eat, make it rich. Ah. Proverbs 10, 22. So that glory or that riches in your life came from the blessing yes, of sir. the Lord. The blessing of the Lord eat, make it rich. But there are many people who became rich by selling their mother. There are many people who became rich by selling their private part. There are many people who became rich by killing somebody or defrauding somebody. All of that is artificial, artificial. glory. It's non-repatriable glory. That means you are rich on earth, poor in hell. Hey. So when we talk about riches, two mistakes. One, believers say, I don't want to be rich. I don't want to go to hell. Riches don't take you to hell if those riches are from God. Mm. The riches that take you to hell are artificial glory. Yes, sir. They are fake riches. Yes, sir. 
There are riches gotten by doing something bad. They have no light in them. So heaven, we say we don't know it. When you stand before the throne of heaven, you go back the way you came. Naked, you came. Naked, you go. But if you are traded on earth to the glory of God, when you stand before the gates of heaven, you, you, you now just go to heaven. You go to heaven with the same wealth you had on earth. You have it there. My God. The same glory you have on earth, you have it there in a multiplied form. Hey. Hey. Number two. So number one, heaven does not accept artificial glory. Yes, two, sir. heaven does not accept stolen glory. Stolen. All glory being used in the negative world are stolen from man. Mm. Such glory are not repatriable. Satan has lost his glory, has no light, therefore depends on stolen glory to give wealth or glory in the terrestrial realm. As there is no light or glory in hell. Heaven is a place of light. Hell is a place of darkness. Satan has no light. Therefore he steals to give. You see in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, where he formerly had light, How art thou falling from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground with this weakening the nations? Cut down to the ground. He was the Lucifer, the one that carried light. Yes, sir. He was the son of the morning. That means he was born by light. He was a light bearer. But you are cut to the ground. So what does he do? John 10, 10, the thief cometh not. But to steal. His principal way of achieving all that he gives is stealing. Stealing. That's why I want to teach you something today. It's not enough to hear about the glory. You must know how to protect your glory. Ah. Or else Satan will steal it and use it in the trading floors. Hey. Let's move on. Let me take you into something deeper. The laws of glory. You need to understand the laws of glory. Let's move for me. Make it, make it very fast for me. Crown and glory. Understand. Every value... Or glory in the realm of the spirit is embellished in a crown. Yes, sir. A specific crown. And, giving, and it gives you what? A right to sit on a specific throne. There are three things you need to know about glory. Every glory connects you to a crown, connects you to a throne. The rest of glories are not so. Which Satan, the artificial glory, sorry, are not so. You have money. You have no crown with God. You have no throne with God. But when you have wealth by God, you have a crown with God. You have what? A throne with God. Satan does not have those things to give, so he steals that to use. That's why you must know how to protect your glory. Look at that, Psalm 8, 4 to 6. What is man that thou art mindful of him, the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim, and have crowned him with glory. And honor. Please, anybody have money? Any notes? Just give me any note. Anybody has any note here? Let me show you what I'm trying to say. Any money, any note? Any money, any note? Any money, any note? Kala Masata. Money is paper. You can print money and it will look exactly like this. But it's not acceptable. Why? It has the same design, but it's not a, it does not represent a value. Yes, sir. It is value that is put into this. So 1,000 Naira is not about the Naira. It's the value. the value. What it can buy. Mm. What it can buy. That's why 5,000 Naira is bigger than 1,000 Naira because it can buy more. Money is what value put in paper form. Yes, sir. So when I cut your hair for you, I just did some work. So you have to pay me. So you gave me 1,000 because the value of the work I did is 1,000. That 1,000 is put into paper. So this is nothing except for the value. So I'm carrying 1,000 because I did a service of 1,000. So if you don't have money, it's because you are not providing any service. If you are solving problems, people will be giving you the, the value they got from you. They will give back the value to you. In, so that value is stored in paper called money. Mm -hmm. That value can also be stored in metal called gold or diamond. It's a service. It's a value. Are you understanding? Somebody else will go and print the same money, make his own fake, not based on value. It will be fake money, fake naira notes, fake dollar notes. It cannot, it has no value. Nothing was done to get it, so it's fake. But if you work for your 1,000, it has value because it's, what is the, your value? The hair that you bought, that yes, work sir. that you did, yes, is this. If you are a foreigner guy, you go and print 1,000 naira fake note to use to buy something. It has no value because you did no work to get it. Yeah. I don't know if this is clear. Yes, Who gave sir. me this? Very clear, sir. Who gave me this? 
Thank you. So I want you to understand. When glory comes in your life, it's put in a crown. So every glory is housed in a crown. So just the way every value is housed in money, glory is housed in a crown. So for every glory you have with God, God gives you a crown. Unfortunately, a lot of believers lose their crown just the way you can lose your money. So I can steal this man's money. He has not lost paper. He has lost what? Value. value. So when Satan steals your crown, he has not stolen crown. He has stolen glory. Mm. Mm. So look at what he says in the scripture. It's very clear. In Psalm 8, what we are reading, he said, Thou hast what? Made him. Crowned him with what? Glory and honor. Understand that. Move for me. All right? Move for me. Slide, please. Make it fast. Stay on slide, please. Make it fast. 